J1 Drags Blessing Okoro on social media. You stole my artist song. J1 accuses the band. The Nigerian music industry is a war zone. J1. Singer J1 has been arrested for violating coffee order in Lagos. <laughs> Every artist in this fake industry has something dirty to hide. J1. J1 tells Kiss Daniel to keep short. Which, which J1 are you? Are you this respectful guy? Or are you this guy who is just fighting every... I'm, I feel like I'm one of the most... I'm one of the, one of the most artists with, that people has wronged the most. It just cannot call Bonaboy out. Mm -hmm. This is a bully. They are talking, they are kicking me down. Even it was in the news that I was in coma. If I want to get out, they say, stay down there inside the bus. The bus was driving. Idris was telling me, drive, you know, drive. I'll kill you. I will do this. So when they announced it, I didn't buy it. They went and released. J1, J2. <laughs> Greetings. You know, that, that's the paradox about you. See, see, every time that I see you, wherever, Nigeria, the United States, London, wherever I see you, you're one of the most respectful people that I know. You're just respectful. You're a boy and all of that. It's it's how I know you. Like, J1 is so... When you came on my show in Nigeria, yeah. the Tejwe Fish, I mean, you're, you're literally like a sweetheart, Right? But I didn't know that about me. Yeah, about myself. So, so, but here's the thing. <laughs> then I Google, I Google J1 controversy, which I do for all my guests. In fact, I, I have Googled Ted Face controversy on occasion. And you find one of one or two things. But when I Google J1 controversy, it's almost like, let me look, let me read to you <laughs> some of the things that come up when I Google, just some of the things that come up when I Google J1 controversy. Oh my God. J1 drags blessing Okoro on social media. You stole my artist song. J1 accuses the band. The Nigerian music industry is a war zone. J1. Singer J1 has been arrested for violating coffee order in Lagos. <laughs> Every artist in this fake industry has something dirty to hide. J1. At Kenny's Music, I sponsored my videos Yet they took credit. So, so here's my question. <laughs> <laughs> because we're both Yoruba and they say idobale o kinshewa. So mm. meaning that the fact that a person greets you respectfully does not mean that they have good character. So which which J1 are you? Are you this respectful guy or are you this guy who is just fighting everybody? So I feel like sometimes I don't cause these things. They just find me. <laughs> and uh, for a minute I've been I always try to run away from controversies all my life I always try to run but sometimes some of these ones will just will be like say you did your own trailer just jam you except that just a couple of days ago there was this melee this uh, this how do we put it now I actually know where you are going this um, coming together between Burna Boy and Idris Abdul Karim. Apparently, he said stuff and then Burna Boy clapped back. And I mean, you must have seen that. If you haven't seen that, then go check it out. Just, <laughs> I mean, just Google it. And so that was Idris Abdul Karim and Burna Boy. I mean, nobody came after you in that one. But you jumped into that thing. It's not that I jumped. I'm not, listen, when I'm, first of all, a lot of people might know Idris, but I know Idris. I was on the same label with him. We were in Kenny's music together. And we had a couple of, you know, issues that, you know, when I said a lot of people has they done stuff, I've ignored a lot of things. I don't be, sometimes I'm that kind of guy, that kind of guy that just let it go. Oh my gosh, you don't go put money for our pocket now. He's not going to help us in any way, let it go. But I realized that letting some of these things go has not been helpful. Because a lot of people just continue to take you for granted because they feel like he's gonna let it go. But it is, it is cannot call Bonaboy out. It, different people can call Bonaboy out, but it's not Idris because whatever it is as whatever Bonaboy has been doing for a minute, people like Idris started it. Mm -hmm. Idris is a bully. 
Idris is a bully. Bully, confirm. Ask anybody that knows him. If you really know Idris, oh. He can be nice sometimes. When he has money, he's one of the people that I know. Know that I've, I've never had any sh- any need to ask him for money. But I know a couple of people that say, oh, when he has money, he gives. When he has money, he gives. Baba Eke too. I know. Baba Eke, probably one of the reasons Baba Eke is very loyal. Because Baba, Baba Eke is number one, he is loyal. You know, loyal person. But it is, you cannot call somebody like Bonaboy out. You what? cannot. I mean, how do you know this? Have you and Idris had any personal? He's on the line. He's online. He's everywhere. It's Google it. Oh, really? Idris once attacked me with his boys. Not only him, because me. I mean, Gonson Lori. So if you want to come and attack me, I always tell people, make sure you are prepared. First of all, make sure you are a very trained fighter. Because I'm a USC fan. If you are coming for me, you need to be, you are, it's not going to be easy for you. That is one thing I know. Be you anybody. If you're gonna come for me, J1, you need to be ready. No, it's not gonna be an easy fight for you too. You know, when he did attack me, he knew he was not the only one. It was two of his boys were in the bus. And if I tell you what was the cause, you'd be like, okay. So what was the cause? It was. It's like you. We went to have a carnival in my not like my former hood, but a place where I once stayed. A place where I the old alakara money. A place where the old people they know me for streets. They tell you, Baba, now J1 no. They love him here. Oh. This is where he's, you know, he has let him perform last. You say you want, to. you don't think it's like that. Some kind of talk we no suppose. I performed finishes. I was leaving. People follow me. The show was almost empty. He started cursing me out. He started saying things. He started calling my mama's name. That's when you start talking to my mom. That's when I say, Baba, with all due respect, I will never disrespect your mom. Don't, you've said a lot of things. Please don't bring it to my mom. That was how I was attacked inside the bus, and the driver was driving. Everybody was so scared of Idris. No one car. No, Capital FM was in the in the car in the bus. A lot of people were there. La, La Cheese was there. They attacked me, kicking me down. Even it was in the news that I was in coma. Mm-hmm. Until I, they were not. If I want to get out, they say stay down there inside the bus. The bus was driving. Until I be like, okay, we we'll say we will even here. We make all of us who mad. And then I, when I finally got up, it was the driver me I attacked because why would this thing be going on and you are driving? But Idris was telling me, drive, you know, drive, I'll kill you, I will do this. Until I got up and then I turned the steering of the bus. Excuse me, where were you guys? I, on what road was Inside the bus, this was from, from Satellite Town coming to uh, Jawas. I turned the bus, the bus was like this. Everybody, everybody, my cool down on me. That was when he flew. He has not seen a thing like that in his life. He ran, him and his boys. But you know, fast forward to Bonaboy. He Bonaboy attacked Mister Tuki. <laughs> but who made it? Who made it? You know, who made it? A who thing? made it a thing? He just had to carry him. <laughs> he just had to carry him back there. He attacks Two Face like every day. Sorry, say that again. He just had to carry him. Was attacking Two Face for the longest time now. You do As in know. verbal attacks, verbal physical... attack, news, and okay. you know, like you know everything. So. He's a bully. If you know him, you know him. If you don't know him, oh, mind you, I have a lot of respect for him. But after that time, I just be like, you respect don't Let him be on his own. You be on your own. But what I'm saying is, you don't have, you cannot. Everybody knows when a boy is arrogant in a way. Most of the times, where did he get it from? People that came before is because it's definitely what they see. It's like a little boy, a little kid. Is what they see, what their uncles do, what their father do, what their brothers do. That is what they will see and they grow up to be like, oh, if my uncle was doing that, my dad was doing that, that means it's okay for me to do it. So you cannot, Idris does not have that mouth. And I'm not taking the fact that Idris has contributed a lot to the industry. It's only if, let me not <clears throat> use a curse word, let me not curse anybody, but somebody that is not okay upstairs that will say someone like Idris has not contributed to the industry. Mm-hmm. I gave him that. Okay. Every time I would always give him that. Some people might say a lot of things about him. Yeah, he's arrogant, yeah, he's bully. But he's passionate about this job. And he has contributed his own color. You know. But there are some things you never want to rock with you, Benu. Idris, with okay. all due respect. One iti, so let me say it in uh in our language, what you're trying to say. One it um T Resi Bank Pakuta. Uh or Nibara. 
nkan lo e ka ti gbo okay that by no ni bara okay because he say pe wo lura wo ko lo fo wole okay okay so it's not an people will be like a lot of people it's been a lot of mixed feelings i don't i don't fall for anybody me i'm everybody knows bro after all this and that but you know baba can made me apologize to you this baba can made me know that ko si bo se fe ja si agbalagba o ni ko ni bebe okay so back then after the kid during the boss the whole thing. your your record label boss made you apologize, made me apologize because you, you were the younger one because i was the younger so one. how did idris take it back then ah uh, he, he knew that he, already even from there he was already scared because my keyboard everybody is on like out all out like see this one the world don't start you know Paul, what I year was this what year was it it's online if you google it as a people was on the last one people okay, said i we'll, was in coma we'll, so people said we'll, i was in coma we'll, like we'll, it beat we'll, j1 to coma we'll google it so you now wading into this bonaboy and idris thing was was this your own form of revenge it's or? not revenge it was revenge put money my own is just that you know when somebody is doing something and you know that no not be your mouth okay so that you know, was it it's not you it's not is not be you supposed to talk this kind of thing you want the attack bona boy <laughs> now you train now now <laughs> because okay. with all due respect bona is the same thing talented everything but when it comes to that attitude it's like bona saying nobody paved way for him how do you say that it's a very wrong thing to say it's, you don't understand his madness because that means you are saying from when you were little to now no one has inspired you and some people say inspiration is inspire somebody inspires you is different from somebody open doors for you tell me if somebody do not do it first where do people behind learn from the video once gave you a chain a teddy bg chain as to boner boy that is a, a, a huge contribution to his career it's like with the same thing he's doing for Shei Vibe now. He gave Shei Vibe a chain. Will Shei Vibe come out and say, no, he did not open the way. Bonner Boy has opened doors for every Nigerian artist that we can all go international. How will it sound if some kids wake up tomorrow and in 10 years time and say, nobody opened the door for me? Okay, no, so now I want to get to that. Your, your post on this issue, you said this was basically the crux of it. That again, we have to go to Yoruba here. Uh, and then I'll say it in English. Uh, if I say it in two Yoruba ways, uh, we pay maka maka in lo ye kan. We pay wo ye to say karai wo. In bo akan arai de. In short, what That's goes what, what goes around comes, comes around. around. So your 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 position is that even though Bonner Boy is on top today and Idris is no longer that, it's only a matter of time before Bonner Boy also gets all this it's, that he's putting it, out. That is why. Listen, it's as an artist sometimes. It's not gonna take anything from you. Just give kudos to those people that came before you. Just respect them. It's not gonna take anything from you. She's walk away. But when some people, I see Odumudu. I love Odumudu. Even though I know his music is not, eh, but I love the energy. I love. Sorry, oh, could you, you say that you again? You, you love him, but you don't think his music is. Nah, not like all that. I love the energy. I know. Okay. You know, there are some people that you know. I've watched Odumudu from for a while before I even blew up. It was one of my young boy that was distributing his music. I'd be like, this guy. Because the energy, the, the hard work, will eventually pays off. But you cannot, because when I boy say nobody opened the way for you, you two are coming out and say nobody opened the way for you. No, he's too, he's, you are too, you are not, I don't know. You, yeah, you are big, you're doing well, but you cannot say that. All these people, I'd be like, you can't, there's some things, you are digging your own grave in a way why you are me- saying me- metaphorically you're digging you understand when you are because you are inspiring a lot of people a lot of people are going to come behind you you are inspiring them to do better with their life you are inspiring them to work harder because you made it you are indirectly or directly opening opening doors for the people behind you whether you like it or not to take attacks to take you. you know to know to take that same route that you you know that you took to become someone in okay, life okay. so you cannot wake up and say I will Odumodu feel if somebody tomorrow, you know, is some some like from all the artists in Abuja now, that is Abuja hustling. They now came out, they finally blew up. Then I say, who is Odumodu? Odumodu did not pay for way for us now. But we all know that Odumodu was one of the first people to come out of Abuja and blew up so big. So it's not all these things. All the, there's some talk that are very very unnecessary and because of people know some people will no get sense. Maybe their fans they follow these things because they don't even know how this thing comes to be. 
Mm. They only see. You can imagine somebody who just drop one hit song now. We just start to be blue. It comes out to be disrespect people. We don't drop albums. Okay, speaking of that, maybe it's a strategy because I now hear, in fact, a friend, there's a friend who is quite interested in this uh, goings on between okay. Idris, uh, Burner Boy, you, Daddy Freeze. And so he's been sending me the post. And what he sent was apparently um, uh, Idris is about to release something right now mm, and then apparently right. tony is about to release something so my friend is convinced that all of this was a plan from the it beginning be, is it is it possible it that all this i mean i said that no it wasn't a plan that they are just they might just be cashing in on the moment or it was coincidental my friend said no mm-hmm. they all planned it from the beginning nah no you won't plan it it's okay is it, is it, the whole thing just started unfolding itself because there's so many people involved Remedies is involved. Uh, you know, when you talk about remedies, you're talking about the Eddie, Eddie Montana, you're talking about the Tetula, the Sipo the manager, which was Mr. Big Garway. He, 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 Omololu is involved, the producer. Okay, so there are too many moving There's parts. There's too many Kenny's music is for, for this to be there a... There is a soul okay. entertainment that is involved. There's too many people that is involved. This incident we're talking about involved a lot of artists that the Shoki were involved back then. Casey was there. Even the money was there. Apparently, so, Charlie Boy was Charlie there. Charlie Boy was involved. 50 Cent was involved. So it's just something I just keep, you know, keep going like wildfire. It's just, it's just going because there's too many people involved. I and mean, if you want to get the truth out of this whole situation, you might need to involve everybody to get the truth. Everyone is be saying their own part. You know, I saw at the remedy zone. It's sad. It's really, really sad with the way you know, you know. He reacted the same thing Tony Tertula. Everybody, you know, Tony Tertula was supposed to be the one to even f- sign me first before I make Kenny's music. So oh, really? I'm following Tertula's own journey as well from the first start boy, you know. So I've been following everything. I know some of this story, even though I was little, you know, I was in the picture. I was following up everything that was happening. But, you know, to cut this whole story short, is not, is not, it is, it's not in his mouth. To okay. say that everybody, anybody is arrogant, to, call, to say anybody is bu- is a bully, or to say anybody is whatever, because Baba, you did you did things. We know is all those people with you on top social media. They might be again. You don't know Idris. I was under the same label with Idris. I know what I went through with Idris. I know many things that will have happened that because he knows Baba Ike is loyal to him, he will go behind and every a lot of things. But me. As a Kogi boy, where I know, say, I don't get anybody. The only thing I get is myself. Even while I was on that Kenny's music, I've always knew, yo, boy, you are all you got. Everybody's have their, even manager, where you, they, where you, they, where you they put your hope on, he can't your own problem. The record label, where you they put your hope on, like I, you know, I said all these things, because it's the way it is. Mm. All right, cool. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> it's amazing. Why are you not afraid to get out there and fight? Because you're like that guy who would throw down, you throw down your shirt and get no. into why? Why? Uh, yeah, I look like that, but I'm the one that runs away from stuff like that the most. Oh, you're saying that if you had to face everybody who came up, it would actually be more than this? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so. Not the industry. Like I said, the industry is a war zone. We know that. And a lot of, a lot of, I'm, I feel like I'm one of the most. I'm one of that one of the most artists with that people has wronged the most. Okay. Yeah, and I don't say I just keep it low-key. Yeah. Like my people always tell me, Baba, everything let it go. Everything let it go. Everything let it go. Everything let it go. Why are you letting everything go? That's why they keep, you know, some of them will disrespect you because you keep letting things go. And because sometimes I just look, if I drag this person, you will not go put money from my pocket now. You know, Frank Edoho said the same thing when I interviewed him. He said that this idea of letting it go, they tell you let it go because of your brand. Let it go, your brand. Then the more you let it go, the more people suddenly develop, you know, the boldness to keep on coming after you. True that. Trust me. That is 101, a thousand percent. Once, you, the more you keep letting it go, because sometimes I just look where I be like, I've done for this one supported this one i did that for that one i did that for this one i did that for that and one day i'll say yo come and do something for me they'll turn it down and you'll be like so i was actually stupid for just supporting everybody just doing things for everybody just 
Oh, no, my mama trained me. So my, my mother always let me understand the power of, you know, doing things for other people, supporting other people. Because one day, even though you don't get it, your children will get it. Mm. If your children don't get it, maybe your great-grandchildren will get it. You know, but this is our industry. Uh, I mean, not not to get into your business, really, because usually I just move on at this point. But this <laughs> this really this really just stayed with me because uh, I can I can imagine who have you done stuff for in, in terms of I supporting know, them, uh, and then they didn't know, show up for you. A lot of people, man. A lot of people. A lot of people. I mean, I'm, I'm they, just they I'm just. Like, I was telling. I think it was my producer. I was telling that if I have done hundred collabs in my life, only fifteen or ten was were paid for. Only it's not up to 20 that they paid for. Some of them I'm the one that will even reach out say, ah, this is your song. Yeah, you, blah, 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 blah. Ah, no, no, we'll do blah, 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 blah. just bring it. We'll do it. Before the industry start doing it. Before anybody start, that is what I've been doing all my life. I've some artists, some artists that I don't know who release a song, I'll be the one posting about it. The other day in my Facebook, like just popped up, I saw videos of me when. Kisana just, you know, that time we just come. I made videos. I was from. I paid a DJ to play Kisana's song. It was right there in the club. Baba, thank you, Baba, thank you. Sorry, wait, no, sorry. This was Kiss Daniel back in the day in yes. the club saying, Baba, thank you. Yes. Baba, thank you. Yes. So, which is interesting because one of the ones I left out and my eye just saw it now is, I think my glasses were formed or something, <laughs> is J1 tells Kiss Daniel to keep short. <laughs> I mean, that's what J1 tells Kiss Daniel, keep short. I mean, so if that was how you felt about him back in the day, what happened this time around? It's just, I, okay, oh, shit. So Keys was supposed to be on the remix of one of my songs. And I spoke to his brother, we chatted, we talked about it. He said, let's meet somewhere. We met. It was at, uh, uh, is this Sheung Sonny? Sheung, the former uh, Daily Modus PA. Mm, okay. That was Ice Prince manager. Mm-hmm. That is Becca from Ghana's husband. Mm-hmm. Don't know them, we but met, okay. We met at this place. You know, before we met at this place, we link up. They say, oh, we are going to the mainland. Oh, Abamo de Guna. They took me to the mainland to his ex-girlfriend, kind of, to Magodo from Ireland. We drove, woo. Later they say, hey, we need to get to Yaba. We drove to Yaba, woo. Later we reach Ireland, woo. They said they were going to work with another artist. Ah. So why is Moaz in Why you keep going? We went to the studio. Funny enough, we got to the place, it was, you know, Sharon's place. We were all there, everybody was happy. And when it was time to, ah, let's talk about the reason he just left. He just, whew. No, and I, no, let me get this right. You you wanted to do this collaboration with Kiss Daniel, and then you had to roll around with them all day, all over Lagos. Eventually, you ended up in the studio. And when they finished, you wanted to get into the con- yes, conversation. Com- you have been waiting to get into all day, and you just left. And I'd be like, ah. Oh, and it was my manager, my manager. Oh, yeah, sometimes he keep telling me, hey, you don't, you don't talk to these guys. I say, I don't want to do it. That's why sometimes most of my collaborations we look at it are the people that we are on the same page. Young guys would do it, but the industry a lot of the times they don't, they don't reciprocate the love. Mm. They don't. So, but people like us were not brought up that way. I was brought up to support people. I was brought up to understand what it means to show love and help other people. So sometimes I'd be like, I don't want to support nobody. Let me be, no, I can't do it. That was not how I was brought up. Um, nah, they can, you know. But the industry, and I don't like to complain because I know complaining means we, some, to some people it makes you look weak. That's what, I, that's what I feel like when you complain. So I just keep it to myself. I just keep working. That's why a lot of people see me. I know I work so hard. Nobody needs to tell me that I work hard. I know that I work so hard and I keep working every day, every time. Before I go here, I see when I was waiting, I see I have to drop by the studio. Let me wait there till I hear from you. I have to keep working because I know that is all I got. That's all I have. My gift, my God-given gift and work it and put it out there. 
Yeah. And I know it might take a little while sometimes. I always tell people, me, J1, I might not have an eat song for like one, two, three, four years. But trust me, it's going to come. <laughs> it's going to come. So don't. So that's just the body industry. Mm. I mean, so what happens when you see this type of people after? Because you must have run into Kiss Daniels short. I just did my own now. Thereafter, you just you just do your yeah, own. They don't come do baba baba for you again because they don't. <laughs> they don't big now. Yeah, so I don't. I just. It's amazing, right? When you see that thing happen, that change from somebody who used to be uh, humble and you know, and then the, the, the. And I love kids. On I love him even till now that I'm talking about him. He's one of the most one of the most amazing artists out of Nigeria. He's one of the most talented artists out of Nigeria. And that is one. I wonder another thing about myself. Even when you mess with me. It will still ne- not change the way I see you. I might be mad. I might not never talk to you about some other stuff. But I don't know how to hate people. I don't know how to change from love to it. Because it won't put money in my pocket. It won't help me. So if I love you, I love you. But there are just some conversations we will never have. It's like David. David's my boy. He's my brother. He's my friend. He's that's one of the people I talk to all Davido, the time. That is. Yes, but I don't, I don't be asking him for collaborations when we talk, when we link up. Because I just learned that, no, leave collaboration now. Let's just be on that brotherly love. That is, that's my guy right there. And that's why people say, but I say you're only so good about David because he's, he's, David is the only person that will, where he has never looked down on me, has never disrespect me. He's always, when he sees me, he's always love. Always lo- love and respect, and that is, I feel like that is how life is. But why would anybody be. disrespect you though? I've, I don't, this industry, ah, oh God, I've seen, I've seen a lot. I just don't talk about it, I just let no, it no, go. because because I keep because <laughs> it's one of the greatest misconceptions that people have is that once you have a big song, then all your other songs have to be as big as that song. As far as I'm concerned, you have done uh stuff that only a few people will ever be able to do. You had a single that was so massive that it is still. <laughs> do you know what it means to have a perennial single? Which means it's a single that, for whatever reason, at least once every year, people remember. I know it's a blessing. So you have this year that every year at the beginning of the year. And the version that dropped 2024 gone viral. Like, Ex- like, like crazy. When I say viral, I like took me to places I never thought I would be. I was. Just, I was trending in like four different African countries. Even till now, is is the most streamed in South Africa now, right now as I'm talking to you. I gone as it took me, he has over 1.2 million creations on TikTok. He has over one million views the, the video on YouTube. People they know. Well, I was I just came back from Ellie, you know, for the Grammys. Fuse was the first person to walk up to me. Fuse said, Ah, when this song is trending again. And I look at him. I say, everybody here knows. Why is it feels the only one to come and tell me that? I just look at him and say, this guy, thank you. I appreciate that. That is the industry we are in. It's well, me, no, I no send I'm just on my own. I'm always that's my producer right here with me, Lance. I'm always in the studio. He knows. I'm always working. Cause I just know. Nah, it's because sometimes my music. I've learned a lot about my own music. That your music is your music. It's not everybody's music. So, don't try to put yourself in deep people's, you know, level. Or just keep doing your own thing. I released Ajay to 2020. Ajay is back on trending on TikTok again. Like, Ajay is... And people be like, when did you... It's, it's not... Because I've understood this thing that my music is just different. And if you know big the way everybody... But... Eh, Ah, toro ya re nshe ti wa Olorun de Olorun de Olorun de gbadura agboda de je la be ge si eh as it is eh, i see i mean i see Lance here the producer Lance will you stop recording me please i already told you that stop that's enough you been you can't record me either that's okay. enough i think we have enough now. yeah thank you Lance <laughs> yeah so somebody said to me cuz i was speaking to somebody who is savvy in entertainment matters right and they said that maybe it's true so i need you to confirm you don't even need in these days of streaming, you don't even need that big song again. You just need to keep producing. Yes, and sir. as long as people are streaming, then you're getting the money you need to get. Is, yes, that, is that true? Yes. Is that what you just said? Yeah. Yes, sir. I just, I, mean, I just keep renewing it. I just keep, let's say the renew rent. Okay. I just renew the song every year. 
That is because I understand. Right, this is on. It was raining so much in Uganda. My friend from Uganda called me and said, J1, I've been to seven places today in Uganda. Your song is playing everywhere. What did you do, my brother? <laughs> I said, I didn't do nothing. I only just put out a new version of the song. You it's know, amazing. and I mean, at Grace, and we just. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Okay, so we're sitting here in this United States having this conversation. And so my my question is, what is J1 doing in the United? Do you live here now? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I live here partially now. It's my family here, so it's it's important I'm here. It's very very. I mean, there's nothing more important than my family for me. Okay. Even though my music, my wife sometimes. No, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, come on. Even though my partner sometimes be like, I think you love music more than us. And I be like, no. Oh, I don't. Because my family and my music. But my family comes first. Okay. You know? So, but, yeah, America is a good place. It's okay, it might sound like a silly question, but mm. I mean, obviously, the, the question to ask next is, mm. okay, so why is your family here and not in Nigeria? It might seem a silly question, but... <laughs> You know, because I because that is that is home base, right? <laughs> so, um, first of all, um, my partner is there. She's Caribbean, but she's there. Oh yeah, I met that beautiful woman, by the yes. way. Yes, here. And ah, so you have to be here. You got to be where the family is. Got to be here. I yeah. know there's nothing more than. There's no so here is here is what I'm asking this because I was I had no doubt when I picked up my phone. And I called you to ask you if you will do this interview. I had no doubt in my mind that you would be in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> it, it didn't even cross my mind for a minute. Of course. We, you that, know we spoke. Yeah. That last time we spoke. Yeah. I haven't gone out since then. E- exactly. So that's yeah. what I'm saying. So yeah. I, I do realize that your family is here, but you're spending nearly all your time here right now. Yes, most are you not, of the time. Most of, are you not missing out back home? Nah, I'm trending in Nigeria, they know. <laughs> I'm trending in Nigeria. And That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, to be it the, the world has grown to where you can now be here, and yet your effect is still felt back yes. home. Yes. Because the guys who came before us, and I'm talking of the the brosses whom we met in the entertainment industry, whether they were musicians or actors or whatever, when they left Nigeria, all their nearly all their influence just ended back in those days. Hmm. I know they told me that too. Oh, they did. Uh, my name is Oluwaju Olo. I don't take no for an answer. So how do you translate that in proper English, by the way? Because I mean, like, God is the greatest. God is greater than them. Okay. Because it's pigeon that came to my mind. God, God passed <laughs> them. God passed them. <laughs> you know, so. But you see, it's, it's, no, it's, it's, it's a thing of the mind. Your mind, you need to, whether you did Qatar or you did Dubai or you did Pakistan or India, it doesn't change the fact that if you do something good, people will appreciate you. We yeah. just have to keep doing what we know how to do best. Keep putting in, you know, that work in me. Ha. No, it's only me and God. Though. It's only God. I always believe that it's only God that can say stop, that I will stop. So if it is not God and God is not, I'll keep, I just keep doing it and it just keep working. Mm. All right, great. So uh, the, the streaming money must be so much that you, a Nigerian artist, is living in the United States for a long time. Uh, you are essentially... <laughs> and, and, and it's not doing 9 to 5. Yes, so that's, that's where I'm going with this. So you, you get where I'm going with this. Because this, look, these are these United States of America. Yes. If you're going to come here yeah, and have a bills. family and you're not bills. doing 9 to 5, you pay look, bills. you are a strong man. So how are you, you doing? Because pay, you first of all, you that bills. Naira, I don't care how much of that Naira you have stacked up. <laughs> <laughs> that naira is going to become look. Say you have two hundred million naira <laughs> right now. Hey, but you know the stream money don't come in naira. It comes in dollars, right? Yes. Okay, so you are making that streaming money. So you don't, ah, how can I survive that? Okay. <laughs> that is, I, I cannot survive without, you know. I mean, I'm that kind of person. I have, I just have different platforms that I work with. I don't pull my music in one platform. It's different platforms. Some has always been in America, you know. Some. Nigeria, but even those who are in Nigeria, they be, but it's not even about just that money. It's about, you know, change. Sometimes. We, 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 are, we are all scared of that. A lot of people are actually just scared of change. 
But you cannot know what's happening on the other side if you've never been there. You cannot know how things are being done if you have never been there. If you just keep staying in one place. I've been, do you know, this is the first time I'll be out of Nigeria for almost a year. Over a year. First time. And I've been traveling the world since 2010. Everybody knows, you know, my son is in Czech Republic. Having this first time. But you know, if it's, you know, work, I don't run now. We know that you cannot be in a place for one year if, if it's not working. You will not stay. You will have, you know, because you have your career hanging there. But it's change sometimes. Just try, follow up. Don't, but we are all scared of that. I was scared of that, you know, but you got to understand that you cannot be scared of the unknown when you do not even take your time to understand it or to, you know, cannot. Mm. But everybody, including me, which I was, scared of that. If I go, it didn't go up. We didn't the people go talk. Those people we won't talk. They say they send you. <laughs> Those people we won't talk. They don't send you. I tell people, when you put your stories out there, not just you, they give people it's not as if people will say, I'm, voy- I'm saying now so that people will help me. Who, who is going to help you? Mm. Who? The people watching, watch your, you know, those people are going to help you. Not just you, they give them. I wish I can start calling names of those people in the industry that are quick to respond to everything. Oh, yeah, you, you're free. Not just you, they give them. All of them. From VDM to Daddy Frisch, Freeze to at least you just give them things to talk about. Nobody is going to help you. So, people, how will you be scared of what people will say? Mm. They will always talk. And not did, laugh, they won't laugh. Did you hear any of those things after you left uh, yeah. about you? I don't get tired. What 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 are the things you I hear? don't I don't get tired. Someone say ah, oh, let's leave that. No, the, the, the things you would usually hear because I, I find it funny because um, mm. people think that when you leave your country to go to another country, especially in this case when you leave Nigeria to go to to come into the United States, you must have left because things weren't working out. What? Uh, they don't understand because they've never been there. They've never been outside. So, do you know anybody in Nigeria who has never been to Ghana? So they don't. So, so how do you want them to to know what they don't have, what they don't understand? So I don't care. Even though I don't be putting now uh, putting out my you know stuff out there when it comes to my family, you know, you know. But I'm not gonna put it out there for you to know because that's very very special to me. And I tell people, whatever that is very, very important to your life, that is very special to you, don't put it out there. Because when you put it out there, you don't give people reasons to talk negative things, to say shit about you. Some people don't even know, say, some people are doing so good until they put their story out there. And when you put the story out there, because these comments get to us, Mm-hmm. And you go read something where they talk about your wife, now you come to look say, Oh, so my wife really be like this, true, true. <laughs> or they talk about your career, they say, Ah, so my career really be like this, true, true. Then you start to, But you were doing so good before you put your it's stuff tough, out there. The business out there. But once you start, anything that is very, very special to you, that is very important to your life, leave it off social media. Mm. Just keep it safe. That's it. That's a tweetable quote right there. Yeah, keep it safe because people, you don't forget it was with the outside. They are bitter, broke, depressed. Those are the people. Some of them are just looking for way to vent this their anger. If it doesn't power on when them are cool and them are very shake with So you cannot. Mm-hmm. That's why me. I just did JJ, they live my life, <clears throat> they enjoy my life when I need to enjoy and they walk. So you will see my work. But working on an album, they go hear them. 
All right. Uh, Obaori, by the way, I didn't know that you had a child in the uh, in Czechoslovakia. Yeah, everybody knew my son now. Fine no, boy. No, I, I didn't know that you do have a kid in <laughs> Czechoslovakia. Yeah, yeah, that's my first son, my first child. Okay. What is he with you and having kids outside the country because you know. Um it just happened. Oh. It's not that it just you know where there are good people in the world too. It's not only Nigeria girls that are good. It's not only Nigerian women that are good people. There are other good people around the world too. Okay. So Okay, so here's the thing. I'm watching a movie one day <laughs> on Netflix. <laughs> it's uh it's an American movie. It's it's a global movie. It's a Hollywood movie, you know, mm-hmm. as big as they come. So, my mm-hmm. wife and I are watching this movie and we get to a scene where it's like a boardroom, it's like a, you know, <laughs> some tactical boardroom and so there are all these actors and all of a sudden I stop the movie and I I rewind it. <laughs> so I rewound the movie and I watched again <laughs> and then I stopped it and I rewound it then I paused it and then my wife says why I mean what is so special about this scene that you're pausing I'm like ah look now does that guy not look like J1 and she goes he looks like I'm like he's J1 so the arguments are it's not J1 you know J1 I said you know what there is nothing google We're not cannot you. solve <laughs> so I googled J1 movie And it comes out you are in army of thieves yes, sir so, so first of all my question is how <laughs> how 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 do so, you go from Kenny's music <laughs> and this year which is a which is big by the way but but it's a world away how do you how do you go from that to a hollywood movie um so <laughs> so you know when i say i don't put out a lot of stuff that is actually one thing i, I didn't because it got so you know to me too much that I don't, I don't put it too no, a lot of things out there so shout out to Tundi Head Not shout out to Ari Song we're the first people to like you know put it out there in the news you know so I, I shot my own part in we shot in Switzerland and Prague you know Prague is my city everybody knows that so So how did the movie happen? I mean you just um, you just couldn't have been strolling <laughs> on the streets of Lagos so, and then they just called you up. You know so these guys they know I'm always in Prague. They know okay. I'm always in Czech Republic. Like before now I used to go to Czech like three times a year. You know, like three times a year. I yo I, I me I'm I can just wake up this morning and I'm missing my son. I'm getting a ticket today. I'm leaving. So and then they, you know, they reach out to me and I say okay. I'm interested. I actually didn't just act in that movie. I actually used to still work behind the scene for that movie. And you know, I might be uh. Okay, so I, I'm not going to let this question because I'm trying to look I like I like I like templates. I, I like things that can be replicated. I like how a younger person will look at you and what you do and say if I if I do that and do that I might not get the same exact result true that but but I can come close so when I'm saying how I, I just want to know is there is there a replicable path to that kind of thing happening for anybody so that's what I'm asking how did it happen um, for you is this because is this because you were just going to Prague no you you know, Prague? first of all you know you know I've been acting for a minute and just acting doing some little acting in Nigeria okay I actually I do write stories as well movie story actually a couple of stories okay. actually even I have like two script script that I just bought that I'm you know planning to shoot once I get back to Nigeria. So I've been doing that for a minute. You know, so I think the find out that you know, oh, he had to just don't sing, he can act, he can do that, you know, and that's how they reached so they reached out to me. But the thing is, I'm this person that I always believe there's nothing I cannot do when it comes to entertainment. I'm, I don't let people tell me what to do. I just believe in myself and I know The only person that can stop me is me. So, why can't I? That is an Hollywood movie that was number one in over 100 countries. Yeah. I was in Istanbul at the time, and somebody be like, "That is you?" Like in that Turkish people would be like, "Yeah, that's me." It was number one in Turkey for the, you know. But it's just but trust me, that's one of the things I did that I I, I didn't put out there. I didn't even the news It was only to the another poster it and couple of people. So that's where I'm going next with that. I, I yeah. get the impression you didn't really blow that up. You were you were quiet yeah, about that. Why just, why know. would you be that? Yeah, I know I messed up for that part. Why? <laughs> I mean, why would you appear in a hall? So so this is the thing. Cuz I But you know the truth is I didn't know 
trust me eh? it was after I did that movie that I actually googled about it and I realized that was not even the first one you know there was one army of you know that's like a, yeah, I think there know, was the army of the dead or something army of the dead yeah before she understand so it was later I realized it, so ooh this is big and oh, you didn't charge them money. Uh, you didn't charge them better money. They pay good money, actually. Yeah, okay, so. They yeah, pay good least, money. It was, yeah. it, was, it was really good money. You yeah. Know? So, well, I didn't know it was that big. Then when it came out, ooh. You know, but, I mean, if it time lost it, you know, me, ha. Where we are going, still far. Yeah, because I get the impression in these days of social media where people celebrate things that are nothing. This is something, mm, and I feel now like, our people don't like to celebrate something. Oh yeah, because I was reading, because yeah. I was reading some. So I was reading. I was on a blog where that news, when it came out, was put out, and somebody said, "I, I couldn't believe I was reading this." I, I, so somebody said, "Well, he was in the movie mm. in a non-speaking part, mm. so he was a wakapas." Why are you not I, trying? I'm, I'm not sure. Mm. I, if if it were me, I'm not sure that is something to celebrate. And, and so I'm thinking that how how much of an imbecile? <laughs> it's, it's just these people. I mean, are we are we living with animals now? You understand? <laughs> it's just these people. You can't. Sometimes people say things, and I'd be like, "Wow, how how does this person think? Does this person think he's human? Does it do you? Because there's some things some people will say, and I'd be like." Ah, it's a joke, you. Ah, it's on enter me, enter me. But you know what? Mm, just chill. Forget it. Yeah, they are these people. They are depressed. They are bitter people. They are broke. They are. Have you ever considered turning off the comments on your page or something? Sometimes I did. Sometimes I just do that. But you know, but my as I'm talking to you as of today, I've blocked over 700 people on Twitter. I can open my phone so that you see. I mean, give my phone. No, no, no need. I, I take your word for it. Because so, once you, before you write and finish, psh, you are blocked. Before you type that in, once I see it, before you, before you finish, you are gay, go, go, eat, bah, you are blocked. I don't, because things get to me. Yeah, I know. So, before, I've blocked people. I don't play with my blog. That is one of the best things this social media people has done, both on Instagram and Twitter. Twitter is more. Ah, woman shall won't block me. Because why? Like, come on, man. Sometimes I can't just, you know, stop talking about David. I don't when I see some negative things about him, I say, like, this is you don't know him. David is probably the coolest human being ever. So each time I tweet anything about him, these other people from those other side, they'll come for me. Some will be like, hey, this verse you are looking for. You say you go see get time for this in your life, so. And I'd be like, only if you know that I'm not saying good things about David to get a verse. See, when David came out newly, I was probably one of the few people he was talking to. He called me, invite me to go to gym with him. And that is how much I'd be like, that's about 2011, 10. So once I took anything positive about David, so I'll just be blocking. I will just so this be... is why I'm mad at you, right? Mm. For this whole army of thieves thing. Mm. <laughs> because as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> Nobody should ever look at you or should ever tweet or type anything about you or post anything about you, even remotely suggesting that you're looking for something or, or you're looking for a hand a handout or you're looking for a hand up or a leg up from anybody. You are pet I don't care if you were in the movie <laughs> and you just you just appeared for two seconds. I know. You were in a Hollywood movie. I know. Why did you not blow this <laughs> shit up? I, I didn't do that. I know. So I, you have I one should. of the biggest songs out there because because we think of this year and we think people who don't think very well think it's uh, an old song. I feel the Canadian. And, and it's a song. perennial song. Yeah. And then you are one of the few people who's appeared in the Hollywood movie ever. Not a uh, Hollywood movie. Hollywood movie ever. Over 100 countries was number one. Over and you didn't blow that thing up. I did I know, I know. Okay, so let's assume that <laughs> let's assume that went. <laughs> okay, so I have a question, right? The way because I tend to, I'm, I'm, because I'm a, I'm a Yoruba boy, I tend to do the whole respect thing. You know, you give honor to whom honor is due, and all of that. So when you were, speaking I don't of, take that away from anybody. Yeah. So when you were, that's I'm going there. You don't take that away from anybody, right? Yeah. So I, I figure that it must have taken you quite a bit of um, something 
to call out the bunch like that. You said he stole yeah, your he musical did. artist. And as, as far as I, I know he the... Did. And I respect him a lot. That yeah. was why it was painful. And I tried to reach out to him. So my boy, you know, one of mine put out a song under the label. His name is Advantage. He's a, an hype man. And they reached out to him. They didn't reach out to me. <laughs> The Banji's people, his camp, reached out to your artist, not to you, the, to me. the, the owner know of the label. This guy, you know, he's under my record label. Okay, he lives with me. We lives in the same house. He's not just somebody that. I, and they were telling him, okay, you know, we because he has we already started. You know, we have like a snippet outside. The snippet is already you know gradually growing on people, you know, and then you guys reach out and say you know. You know, this song, you know, we see that you have been, you know, trying to put out a song that carry this slang, you know, the band said the same slang on one of these, their shows. And I'd be like, no. <laughs> that was after we started trending this one. But, you know, tell them, ask them what they want. They said, hey, the band is interested in the song. The band wants to release his own version of the song. Your own, will put it aside. You know, hold on on your own. We will not sign you on that cream platform. I said, no. If you want to do anything with this song, you need to make an offer. Either you want to say you want to jump on this one, or you have something. This is a young artist. I'm not even talking about myself. You know, you guys want you guys to you know do better than say making you no know, release your own song that has been promoting for weeks. Then you now release your own. I said, no, nobody does that. No one does that. So when they now see that I didn't buy it, they went and release their own. And I be like, I send him a message, you know. He didn't reply. I send the guys their message, then they started ignoring me. He started at that point in time, no one was. And I be like, this is this is wrong. With all due respect, this is wrong. As a matter of fact, I was gonna let it go, like I always do. It was my keyboard that said, mm, but not me. That's why they always keep you. Know, that's why they always chop in your eye. Because everything, let it go. Everything, let it go. This one, let it go. This one, do, let it go. And that is a normal J1 style. You know, that's why I just had to say my mind. Like, like oh, with all this respect, but we respect you so much. I love you so much. And a couple of months before they were even in Abuja together, you know, that I went to, it was, oh, I expected more. You know, first of all, why you go reach out to my boy behind me when you know that this person is under my label? You know, even though I regretted calling him out at the end of the day, but J1, you like, don't better. You, you did? Know, so just let it go. I regretted him, trust me, because that is not my style. That is not me. You know, when you do something, I'll be like, no, he let us go back on the cotton law. No, but if you keep letting everything go, nobody will take you serious. Mm. So, did he? Reach out he to did it after. He did it too. He did it. Boy, that's wrong. What is wrong is wrong. One in Koti Obada Oda Kuluru Komiji Koda Kodani. You know, but it's gone. So how did the song do? <laughs> what kind? What kind of reaction? <laughs> what? <laughs> what type of reaction is that one now? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so so look on the know. on the one hand, you're this guy who has all these things that I've read, but you're here now, almost uh, you're bashful about it. You're almost not speaking about it. So this is what I must ask them. So it seems that it is true then that it is all these people who, as we say, are looking for your trouble, and these are the few times that I you reply. My own. So it's the thing I must ask is why you? I don't know. What about you? Of all the artists, why we say that my yeah, artists? Exactly. Like you say you go fine. Why you? You know, I'm my own is I don't do this thing to people. That is the most painful part. And me, I know I'm a very emotional person sometimes. I just, you know, shut down like, nah, this is not right. Why do people do, you know, shit like this? It doesn't make no sense. You know, they say respect is reciprocal. If you want people to respect you, if I do any, I'm the first to reach out. Maybe I do something that I know that, oh, this one. Are we sorry? Nah. Sorry is the is, you know, I'm not the kind of person that will tell you sorry and do it again. If I do, I'm like that. 
But people, you know, people who are just on your people just they different. Okay. So uh there's a question I want to ask you. I had I had a very interesting conversation with somebody recently and uh, one side of the argument was that the Nigerian space is not entirely conducive for entertainment. Uh especially when you're uh you know, it's not it's not it's not conducive for creative people in the sense that you might seem to even those who have made it uh they're in a minority, but it's it's like they seem to have made it because what we find out at the end of the day and we're beginning to see it happen now is that in their twilight years as we get older we find entertainers now having to ask for handouts from people and all of that mm. nobody is judging them but it just seems that the nigerian space is not made for entertainment you have to struggle to make it and and, and all of that what what's your what's your thinking about that um i'm not in those people's shoe I'm not in their shoes, so I can't really say. But I know I'm good, and I'm that type. My mom raised me like that. I don't go anywhere I did, I will survive. If I go to Pakistan today, yeah, I will survive. If I find myself in India today or find myself in Qatar today, I will survive. With this music and entertainment, I will. And even me, I always say, even if, if I need to do nine to five, I will still do it and I will still survive. It's good you brought that up. Have you ever considered? I was going to ask you that next. But you're local, uh, I don't know. Sometimes Did you ever consider that? Boring, just being home in, in this United Cause, because cause I'm the, just there changing pampas. So, ex- so most, ex- what I do mostly, yeah, I'm a professional when it comes to changing pampas. Trust me. I change pampas. I even they give me a name now, shit packer. <laughs> and I enjoy doing that. It's no I change pampas. I love it. But it's boring most of the time. It's just day, day, day. It's just day house. You just be on your phone, be on your laptop, you know. But you know out here there's other things that you know you can do with social security number. There's some places you can register your music there's some associations you can join that will increase your revenue there are some people that they be going to the comedies america they will register it and come to nigeria and register other people under them because they know those people down there they cannot register without social security number so those ones now come here they will start a company and come to nigeria and register people and share their money with them so how we there's so many platforms there's so many other things you can do your social security number you know so yeah, i've been doing a lot of that great so your advice to an artist who is in nigeria right now who's contemplating doing the same thing you've done for whatever uh, reason I'm a, uh, no work in my shoe <laughs> my shoe is very no work in my shoe but trust me if you're a very hard working person and you know what you want it is the right thing for you to do. If you're very hard working, if you're not, I'm not, I do, but there's, I can call me many names, but lazy is not one of them. Even shout out to Baba Eke Ongbe and D1, but when I was in other Kenny's music, now me they bring music on. Now me they do collab. Bro, what if I tell you something to do that Baba Eke did not even know who shot the video and who was the producer that produced this year? Mm-hmm. Say that again, I didn't hear. He does not know who was the producer that produced this year. He does not even know who shot the video until later. How is that possible? That's because, your record label. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't wait for why people. When I was other Kenyans, my other some of other artists are under they judge me now. Some of them I've been to places. People be like, why is the only J one they are promoting under this Kenyans music? They don't see all these other upcoming artists that is better that is finer. I say only oh, if you know. Yeah, Kenyans they promote me, but me I they promote myself past Kenyans music. I did all this and I did it myself myself i'll bring it to them i'll shoot the video with my money and bring it to them i'll produce the song i'll bring it to them so what was the record label doing what was it's the... just an umbrella it's just an umbrella and it's the same thing most of this label i don't know most but when i hear some other artists complain why are you complaining go out there and work why are you complaining about your label your label has given you a platform to ride on you go out there be out there working go out there bring the music for them 
Go out there, bring ideas for them. Don't stay. The umbrella is because the fact that you're under under umbrella doesn't mean rain will not beat you. Rain will beat you if you do not manage it well. So you have an umbrella, that's a plus for you. Use it well. Okay. I don't some of these things I don't use <laughs> Kenny's music. I love Kenny's music. Abai Ken knows how much I love him. If last time I was with him, I told him, I said, if you know how much I love you, I say, I told Abai Ken, I said, I don't think your kids love you more than I love you. I told him, if you ask him, he'll tell you. Yeah, we have our issues. We had different issues, but I told him. Okay, so the issues was what? That's when you wanted to leave, right? Yes. Okay, because I, I, I plenty. See, that one, if we start that I one, I see a few stories uh, about that. If we know. start that one, we will not finish it today. Okay, so, so I figured you wanted to leave because you figured you were doing all these things for yourself. You may as well my be on your contract expired. Okay, story long. Yeah, we have a little. Mm, we have a few more stories. Is long is and some part are not so good, but I don't see those good parts. Those not too good parts. Okay, that's why you know when I say let go, let it go, move. Let it go. We move. When I, if I tell, if I, if I tweet, we move. Or if I say we move, we move because we cannot be stagnant. Because being stagnant won't do anything for you. It will totally drag you back, drag you back to poverty, drag, drag you back to depression, drag you back to places you never want to be. The only reason why me, I'm a village boy. I ran from village to Lagos to survive, to have a better life. So no, nothing is gonna drag me back there. So you literally, so I just want to, you said this now. So if it came to the point in this United States where for some reason music wasn't bringing in the money, you take a nine to five, you do whatever it took. What did you do my hand and my leg? What happened to my leg and my hands? Whatever happened to having a purpose and saying, this is my purpose, this is what I'm going to do, I'm a musician. That still does not change my purpose. That still don't change my purpose. I don't, I can't. I cannot. I haven't done it. I haven't tried. You know, but if I have to do, you know, is it concern me? I said I haven't tried and I've been here for a year plus. And people that knows me knows me. They know that. Yeah. But if I have to, is that my decision be that what it concern you concern that one? That does not change me from singing. Me, I will sing till I die. I won't die singing on stage. Oh, you want to die singing on stage? I want to stage. die singing on stage. Okay. This is my life. This is what I live for. I love it. It's, this is the only reason why depression does not see me. This is the reason why depression cannot find me. The only thing that you can take from me that will give me depression or frustrate me is music. Awesome, awesome. So once this voice is today, Nah. Okay. Okay. Great. So uh, we're getting to the end now. So you are in. Uh, you're, you're waking up. You're going to Prague. You're in this United States and all of that. Yet you were born in the village. Please. Uh, it is with this Nigerian passport that you are doing all these things, right? Yes. That is the funniest thing. No. That's the funniest thing that people don't know. It's Nigerian passport. I've been coming to America since 2010. That's why I be like, when people say, oh, don't run, go America. Do you know how long I've been coming to America? I was at the Grammys 2011 with Babayeke them now. <laughs> it's like two weeks ago, I be, we were in Nelly, you know, for this year, Grammy. I be like, ah, uh-uh. now when I be JJC, we, we've been coming here for a minute. You know, it's with the Nigerian passport. And one man losing it, that's about to be one losing it. About to be one losing it. Okay. So now you are on you are on track to I believe get an American passport, right? Um, yeah, yeah close, close, right? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, would you give that up for any reason? If you had um, to give that up to go to Nigeria, I ask this because as you and I is, know, the thing is, I'm 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 Juwon, I'm Oluwa Juwon, I can survive anywhere. Don't doubt me. I will survive anywhere. I have been surviving. As I'm talking to you, some of my chairman, gone, Godfather, gone, 
Some of them, they, they know they are saying that they watch me. I don't. People be like, you get one chairman, so where they give her money. No chairman. So the chairman go now, the, the way it be done, the way they send them money. <laughs> the way it be now. I don't get chairman. I don't get any godfather. Even my god, people where with the some with they with the hype some. I mean, not today. It's me. That's, that's always been me. And because I refuse to back down. I refuse, you know, to look sorry. To, for anybody to look sorry for me. Because I know nobody cares. Only few people care about you. So you need to understand that. At the, at the, see, let it keep ringing in your head that the same person that you are looking up to to care for you has his own problem. Even when they want to help, they have their own problem to deal with. So let it keep ringing in your head every goddamn time that nobody cares. The one that cares little, they have their own problem. So you have to keep running your own race. Keep running. Me, I will keep running. I will keep doing what I love doing until the day God says, yeah, put it all. Right, this is what I'm going to take from this J1. Uh, if I'm correct, two things. Let me know if I'm correct. First of all, it's that uh, so you're a musician and you keep on producing. So the first thing is just keep I on produce most of the times. Yeah. So I mean, I, what I say produce, I mean just keep okay, on keep, churning yeah, out. Yeah. Just keep yeah. on churning out work. Yeah. Just keep on putting out the. I work. have a new album. Oh yes. What, like what's, it's, what's it called? It's, it's down. It's called Evergreen. It's out. No, no, oh, yeah. When is it coming? Anytime from now. Anytime from uh, now. We haven't picked a date yet. Okay. You know, I'm still looking for, I'm waiting for Lance to finish up. Lance I say, right I say it so that I can hear, so that I can okay, know that. So Lance can. Uh, so that I can hear that he needs to yeah. finalize. Uh, number two, whatever it takes, just do it to keep yourself alive. You don't care about the naysayers. You don't care about the... Do they care about me? You know, I like that. For somebody who is on social media so much, you're saying for all of that, you don't care what, if you have to take a do nine to five. Do they care now. about me? That's the question. The people that you are, well, you're watching what they say, do they care? No. So why you all keep talking? You all just keep talking. Thank you. I, you know, sometimes I know that. Not sometimes. Everybody knows that they only talk about successful people. Mm. Mm. Do you ever? Let me ask you this question. Do you see those people talking? Do you ever hear them talk about? Mad people on the street, homeless people, broke people. No, definitely not. They, they don't talk about fortunate people. They talk about successful people. So, just keep talking. So, but my the thing is, if you don't care about me, why should I care about what you say? And they don't. I'm telling you for a fact. These people on social media, they don't care about your mental health. They don't care about how you live. They don't care about how you eat. They don't care about... How you gonna survive the next day? The only person that cares about that is you. You're the only one that cares about how my kids gonna eat. How am I gonna pay school fees? How am I gonna send my mama money? I'm gonna make sure my mother lives okay. My mother is eating well. I'm gonna make sure my brothers are okay. Even though I can't do everything, but I gotta try because I know that if they have the chance, they won't be where they are. People don't. My responsibility is in my community. I have widows that I feed that every time they look up to me my community I pay jam I pay school fees with this my small money how, how much I get but whether I like it or not this is what I've said this is what I've you know decided I must do because these people they don't have they, they don't have any means to help themselves if they have it they won't, they won't get to me so I do all these things they don't talk about it Last year, December, we still feed over 200 widows in my village. And we've been doing that for like five years now. Through my Ileda Foundation. Where's your village, by the way? Kogi Egbe. Egbe Meku. I'm an Okun boy. A lot of people don't even know. That's Yoruba, right? That is, yeah, we speak Yoruba. is like the general language, but we have our own language. Okay. And you, sp you speak that as well? Yeah. All right, so it's Iledari. Iledari. J1. Yes, sir. Thanks for doing this, bro. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I appreciate that. All right. This is the second time I've really talked. This is the second time. In fact, you know, you know the funny thing is I I I really don't remember what we spoke about the, uh, the first time. I, I remember you performing that awesome song. Yes. I remember that we had yes. so much fun in the studio. So much fun. I remember you know you playing one of my idol songs. 
that would be uh KSA. K- KSA. I oh, love yes. him. Yes. So that was the thing with that show, right? If you came on that show the entire time that we spoke on the now, frame you gave me, I still have it. In a you still do. Yeah. Okay, great. So <laughs> the thing with that show was the entire time we spoke for now was the entire show. So on that show I'll probably be able to speak to you maybe 15 minutes yeah, and I will be done with it, but but this gives us a richer conversation. True that. All right, thanks for coming, bro.